Here's a very interesting question which has been seen so many times in the test papers. Now let's see how to solve it. A smuggler leaves a private airfield at 0600 hours and flies on a course of north 40 degrees east at 200 kilometers per hour. The plane is detected by radar at the police airport which is located 150 kilometers northwest of airfield A. At 630 the police airplane leaves its airport with the intention of intercepting the smugglers at 8.30. Determine the course and speed of the police airplane to the nearest tenth of a unit. So let's first sketch a diagram to represent the situation. So airport A is the airport from where the smugglers leave. So let us say that this is the location of airport A, right? So that is X and Y axis for us and they leave at an angle which is from north 40 degrees towards east so that means at an angle which is kind of like this so that is the direction in which they leave and this is basically from north it is 40 degrees east right so we can write this as equal to 40 degrees from north so that is the angle in which they leave the plane is detected by radar at the police airport, which is 150 kilometers northwest of airfield A, right? So northwest will be somewhere on this direction. So kind of going like this. So let me just make a dotted line here and then we'll kind of, and that is northwest. And somewhere there we have airport, police airport, right? So let us say, let me first sketch a line. 150 kilometers let me sketch a line saying that this is over 150 kilometers from here and so we'll again sketch the xy plane here so that we can get idea of angles which we are dealing with so this angle is 45 here this is northwest 45 right so this is 45 degrees now that means that is also 45 degrees correct so let's call this, this is our airport A, and let's call this P as the police airport. And then what happens? At 6.30, the police airport leaves its airport with the intention of intercepting the smugglers at 8.30. So this plane, the smugglers plane left at 6, right? And they leave at 8.30. So they leave after, I mean, they leave at 6.30, but they intend to catch up at 8.30. That means... Smugglers have flown during this time for two and a half hours from 6 to 8.30. So, distance where they should catch up will be approximately equal to how much? Time is two and a half hours and the speed for smugglers is 200 kilometers. So, we have time which is 2.5 hours and speed of 20 km, 200 kilometers per hour. And therefore, the distance should be, let us say, they intercept at B. Okay, let's say this is the point B. Let me join this first. Okay, so this is the point B where they intercept. So that distance should be how much? That is what we're trying to calculate. So it should be 2.5 times 200. So this distance AB should be equals to speed into distance right speed is 200 so it is 200 times 2.5 which gives us 500 kilometers so this is 500 kilometer for us right so that is a position at 8:30 they started at 6 it, it is two and a half hours now we have this triangle in which we know 500 kilometers distance between E and B and between P and A is already given to us as 150 kilometers. We'll write 150 kilometers here. Now in this triangle, we know two sides and the included angle and therefore we can use cosine law to find the third side, which is PB. We say PB square should be equal to 150 square plus 500 square minus two times 150 times 500 times cosine of angle between them angle is 45 plus 40 which is 85 
So let's use calculator to calculate this distance. So it is 150 square plus 500 square minus 2 times 150 times 500 times cos of 85 degrees. That gives us 259426. So that is 259426.63. Okay, so PB will be square root of this, right? So we'll do square root of this and then get the distance. So square root is equal to 509.33. 509.339. So I'll write this as 34 kilometers. So we get this kilometer as 509.339, so we'll round it to 334, okay. So for the time being, we'll write 503, nearest tenths, we'll round it to 0.3. So that is the distance to nearest tenth of a kilometer. Now when we say determine the course and speed of the police airplane to the nearest tenth, well, the speed should be distance divided by time, right? So the speed has to be distance of, we'll use 503.34 divided by time. How much time did they take? They actually started at 6.30 and they ended up at 8.30. So it was two hours. Do you see that? So divided by two. And that is in kilometers and this is in hours. So we'll divide this 509. It was 509 not 3. Okay, let me correct it. 509, 509. So 509.34 divided by 2 gives us 254.66. So 254.66 means we can round it to 1 decimal place 7 kilometers per hour. So that is the speed with which they are heading, right? This is 509.3. Okay. Now what is the direction? To find the direction we can again use the sine law. So we say the total angle, let's say the total angle is theta, right? In that case sine of theta over 500 should be equal to sine of 85 degrees over 509.34 right so from here we can say sine theta is how much this implies sine theta or theta inverse angle theta is sine inverse they say angle theta is sine inverse of sine of 85 I mean sine of 85 divided by 509.34 times 500 right so let's calculate this second function sine inverse within bracket we have 500 divided by 509.34 times sine of 85 bracket close equals to 77.93 so we get this answer as 77.939 so I'm rounding to Four. So approximately 78 degrees, right? Or 77.94, 77.9. So that is what is the total angle theta. Now, what direction will you write this as? That is kind of critical here. So the total angle is 77.94 minus 45. So we, can, we can get this small angle, right? And then describe this angle as from east so many degrees north. Do you get the point? Or what we can do is we we will find this angle and then take away from 90 degrees and we can give the bearing angle. So either way we could answer this question. So let's take away 45 first from here. So if you take away 45, you are left with 32.93. So basically this angle here is 32.9. You see that is 32.9 accurate to one decimal place. And if you have to describe from north, then how many degrees east it is? 90 minus 32.9, correct? So we'll do 90 
minus 32.9 to get the bearing angle which is 57.1 right so we get angle of bearing we can see or we say the angle from north is we can write from north 57.1 degree east right so that is one way of writing the direction the other way is writing bearing angle so we can say bearing of so whenever you write bearing angle it has to be 3057 you see 0 0.1 degrees so that is another way of writing correct so that gives you the course right so they are at a bearing of 057.1 degrees with the speed of 254.7 kilometers per hour so that is the answer for this particular question so we can write down our answer as speed of 254.7 kilometers per hour at bearing 057.1 degrees correct so that's how you can answer this question i hope that's absolutely clear thank you